Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is November the 13th, 2022, and I have just finished installing the electronic parking brake system on my 67 Nova Pro Touring build. Uh, I've learned a few things to do and not to do, and so I just wanted to kind of share with you guys how I approached it on my car, what I recommend and not recommend after having done this. So let's jump right into it. First things first, you can see that there are my parking brake mechanisms. Those are by Willwood. I have another one there. You can see it. There you can see it right there on that side of the car. So I've got two Willwood parking brake calipers on this car. I'll put a link down in the, in the description where you can get those things. This is a Heights independent rear suspension system. I'll put a link for that down in the description as well. So what made me decide to ultimately run these things on the car was a video I found on YouTube by a guy I follow named Sean, who uh, in his video wrecks a really, really nice uh, hot rod and basically leaves his teeth in the dash, unfortunately. Uh, bless his heart. Uh, Sean's a good guy, has a great channel, but uh, they experienced a really nasty wreck because uh, the brakes failed on a car and they had absolutely no auxiliary system to be able to, uh, to get the car stopped. So that kind of made me realize that I needed to run a couple of these, uh, these parking brake calipers so that I have some sort of extra ability to stop the car. Yes, I am running a dual master cylinder, so you would like to think that you got three ways to stop the car. Anyways, the first thing I learned in doing this, your parking brake cables here that hook up to your, uh, your, your parking brake caliper right there, they basically, from what I've found, they come in one of two fashions. The cable either has a round ball on the end or a barrel on the end of that cable. I started off by order, ordering the wrong cable. I ordered the one with the ball on the end and then discovered the hard way that the supplier I got them from does not accept returns. So just be careful of that. If you're doing this job, make sure that you order the correct cable for your car. You'll notice that my cables are really not yet mounted. They're not uh, secured to anything yet. I've got to get my independent rear suspension system out of the car in order to be able to you know, allow me to drill into the frame right here and ultimately, ultimately mount those cables so I'll do that later on down the road the last thing I'll show you under the car there we go we can see it right there the cables run inside the car uh, you see them right up in there there we go uh, using grommets just drilled a hole right inside the car and then run ran uh, the cable through the car using a rubber grommet so that's how everything is done down here on the bottom of the car let me lower it down and we'll have a look inside I take that back. Before I lower down the car, um, most people that run these systems, electronic parking brake systems on a car, will mount everything underneath the car. In my case, you've got this great big exhaust system that runs through here. You've got coolers that are mounted up in here. The floor dips down for the uh, passenger's rear uh, feet right there, and there's practically no room right up here inside the tunnel. So I really just didn't have anywhere to mount this assembly underneath the car. So uh, that would have been nice to do. Do, but given that the space wasn't there, that's why uh, my system is inside the car. Okay, so what I ended up buying for the car is called an e-stop. You can see it right there. And yes, I'm going to put a link down below in the description where you can find those things. That e-stop is basically just an electronic module that pulls on a cable. And you'll notice that I've got it mounted to the back side of the package tray. If we have a look inside the car, you can see those, there we go, those rib nuts, those uh, threaded inserts that hold the e-stop to the back side of the package tray. Riv nuts are a really cool little thing. I'll just briefly show you what those are. And again, I'll put a link down below in the description. These are riv nuts, okay? It's basically just a little uh, threaded female rivet that you use a special set of pliers. You put uh, one of those rivets inside, you know, a, a hole in a piece of sheet metal and the pliers expand the riv nut and then they give you threaded holes that you can see right there that have ultimately allowed me to mount my e-stop to the back side of my package tray. Full disclosure, let me show you where I screwed up. You can see that I've got, you see those bolts there that secure the e-stop to the package tray? Well, there's actually a hole, you can barely see my hand, right up in here on the bottom side where I installed one of the holes for the, uh, let's see, right there, for mounting the e-stop. There's actually no room to be able to get a bolt 
way up inside there. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. There it is, like way down in there. You see that? There's no way I can get that last bolt in. And so at the end of the day, that's why I actually chose to do extra mounts you see right there on the front side of the e-stop so that at the end of the day i've got uh what is it five uh, uh yeah five bolts that are holding the thing in place because one is missing on the back side so if you're mocking something up like this just because you hold it in place doesn't necessarily mean you can access it later so just try and think ahead because i clearly did not do that as far as the cable routing goes, I will show you that. There's not much to show you. They come through right there, and then you can see that they, they mount to this little uh, junction block right here. You can have a look and see there how everything just kind of uh, pulls on it. It's, 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 it's really simple. There's just not much to show. On the electronic end of the e-stop, uh, you've got this little module box right here with some wires coming off of it. You've got yourself a, uh, a lit up, uh, really nice switch that they give you. And by the way, that switch, you can get it from e-stop in either black or silver. It comes in standard silver, but I wanted a black switch, so I actually had to mail my uh, silver switch back. The reason I wanted a black switch was so that at the end of the day, it would mount you know, in my center console and uh, would kind of match everything else because I'm doing all black switches. I'm really excited to show you guys that center console. I just got it powder coated. It's not done yet, but I'm excited to show that in an upcoming video. Back to the electrical end of the e-stop. So basically, this little box right here ensures that the e-stop does not pull with more than 600 pounds of force. And yes, I did say 600 pounds of force. So when you go to mount there it is right there. When you go to mount that bugger in your car, make sure that it's mounted to something significant and strong because it's going to have 600 pounds of force pulling on it. Uh, so anyways, back here on this thing, you've got a, uh, a little ringer right here that basically just makes a noise as the thing operates, and there's nothing to it. You hook up uh, power and ground to it. There's a third wire, an ignition wire right here that if you want to and you should, you uh, wire that into your ignition so that if you should accidentally hit that uh, button while you're going down the road, it won't operate. So anyways, I'll go ahead and show it operate here. Got my little button right there, and... Uh, Let's see here. I'll hit the button. You'll see that it, it lights up. And turn the camera around. Okay, so it's releasing the brakes right now. You see them moving there. All right, now come back and hit my button again. I like how it lights up blue. That's just cool. And there it goes, pulling on the cables with 600 pounds of force. And you'll notice, of course, that it is beeping the entire time as it's working. So... Really cool little system. It allows you to do away with that great big ugly pull lever uh, inside the car. And so anyways, that is the e-stop. Again, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find those things. Uh, so there you go, guys. That's uh, what I've got going on on the car this week. Uh, follow along, hit the subscribe button if you guys want to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. I will be doing a video soon on that really, really cool custom center console. Got like 80 hours in that thing, so I'm really proud with how it turned out. I'm excited to show it to you guys. If you don't mind, please uh, click the thumbs up down below, and uh, if you got questions, post them in the comments. I typically will answer questions down below from the comments. Y'all have a great weekend. Take care.